Hey friends, so I'm gonna show you how I make my pineapple salsa. So far I started out with cut uh, Roma tomatoes and chopped onions. Usually I suggest using the purple onions, but I just had yellow on hand, so I figured I'll use them anyway. Some people would just stop with just one type of onion. I like to go further. I add some green onions that I pre-chopped. Next. I chopped up some fresh jalapenos. I removed the seeds, of course. I chopped up some uh, bell peppers, both red and orange bell peppers. I'm gonna throw that in the mix. Most important ingredient, minus the pineapple, of course, for the pineapple salsa. I chopped up fresh cilantro. No salsa should ever be without this herb. It just brings out all the freshness of everything. So, fresh cilantro. And I couldn't tell you the measurements because I've been doing this for years, so I just kind of go by eye and taste. Last but not least, actually not last but not least, but I'm gonna slice a fresh pineapple. Quickest way, I remove the top, I remove the bottom, so I get a fresh base, flat, it's not gonna run away from me. Then I start slicing down. The goal is to get all yellow. I don't wanna see those seed holes, which is brown in color. And because I'm not going by measurement, that's why I always save my pineapple for last because based on everything here, that'll let me know how much of this pineapple I'm gonna put in. Now I need to get rid of the middle core, which is all a chewy, nasty part of the pineapple. So in order to do that, I slice my entire pineapple into four pieces. One down the middle, that makes it in half. And one more time, makes it four pieces. This, is the part we do not want. It's dry, it's tasteless, it's just chewy nastiness. Take that off of each slice. And then this is the part where you slice your pineapple however you want. I don't want huge, huge chunks because I'm going based on the slices of tomato. So, like so. That's a perfect size for the type of salsa that I'm making. And for me, whenever I'm making salsa, I make it at least a day in advance because certain ingredients in here take a little while to gain or add flavor to the salsa, like the jalapenos for instance. That's why I never put in too much jalapenos right away because I know like in an hour or two, they're gonna spice up way more than I thought they would. So after that hour or two, I test the salsa and if it's not as spicy as I want, then I could go and add some more jalapenos. That's the rule. Okay, so now I got a good amount of pineapples in here. I'm gonna give it a stir. As you know, I'm going all by sight. I wanna see even tomatoes, even pineapples. Gonna add just a little bit more pineapples. Gonna reserve this last piece, do something fun with that. Okay, now here comes the flavoring part, okay? I'm gonna add not regular salt, but sea salt. You always wanna add a thick, thicker grained salt. Some people use kosher salt as well. Either way, just not the regular table salt. I use sea salt. 
and again I'm just eyeballing this for now no exact measurements I'm gonna add a dash of garlic powder I'm gonna add a dash of black pepper I'm gonna add a dash of lemon pepper not that much because remember we got those jalapenos in there right okay now for the liquid stuff I got apple cider vinegar some people use regular vinegar I like apple cider vinegar again I'm just eyeballing it I use a dash of oil Ooh, 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 smelling real good. Wish well, you guys could smell this. Then, not bottled lemon juice, but fresh lemon juice. And I always use my hand as a seed barrier. Let the juice flow into the hand, slightly open. If a seed gets in your hand, that's good. At least it's not getting in that salsa to give someone a bite of something not nice. Okay. Well, I like this lemon. Not too many seeds at all. I didn't even need my hand. Okay. So technically, that's all the ingredients that I need. Now is when I usually do a quick taste test to see if I could add anything but ultimately this isn't the true flavor the true flavor like I said before it comes probably like an hour or two later after everything gets a chance to set in here 